Susan from Bed Recruit. Welcome back to our talent management series to help you hire smarter. So our video series to date, if you haven't seen any, though we hope you'll go back and watch them all, has been focusing on really the topical trends in talent management, in attraction and retention with the very, very brilliant and insightful Fiona Donnelly of Nexus Consulting. Thank you very much. Um, and we're continuing on today with perhaps a forgotten element or a, a lesser well-known element of attraction and retention. So we all know about exit interviews, but stay interviews. Mm -hmm. So I have actually never heard of this before. So you might actually really go into a bit more detail on, on both. Yes. Um, and and yeah. the importance of both. I will, of course. Um, I think the stay interview aspect is a relatively recent phenomenon. Why wait for talent to be literally leaving, walking out of the door before you interview them and ask them like, what could we have done to keep you here? What, what more could we have done in terms of your experience or how could we have enhanced your job or your role in, in a way that maybe would have encouraged you to stay? So the stay interview is different. It's a different type of animal to other types of, we'll say interviews or check-ins. Whilst it is important that it occurs, that that conversation occurs at relevant times, for example, maybe after onboarding, that's a very fragile time in terms of employees leaving. And there's, again, statistics to show that 33, 34% of employees leave in the first two to three months. And the statistics are even higher for the first six months. So that onboarding time is quite a fragile time. That's the perfect time to have that stay interview. So in other words, a manager is really having an informal chat, checking in to see if there are any gaps in terms of the employee's experience. It's important to have that conversation from a supportive standpoint, because that's what the stay interview is about. It's about understanding, are there any gaps that we can bridge in order to encourage the employee to stay. So the stay interview can be very, very valuable in terms of providing insight to employers, rather than waiting for, as I said earlier, for the, that employee to be resigning and leaving, and that's when you ask them the questions. Too late then. And then you're trying to make sure that some of that learning is put into play for the next candidate, etc. cetera. The, the stay interview needs to be something that becomes a habit. So it becomes part of the norm, and part of the culture of an organization. Obviously, from a retention perspective, it, you spoke on that. Why is it important from a traction perspective? I suppose the main thing about exit and, and stay interviews is that you know, they provide a wealth of knowledge in terms of how the employee is progressing. The exit interview is probably more about, you know, what could have been done better for the employee or for the job role or whatever aspect of the organization that they may have a view on. So you're, you're kind of seeking answers at the point when they're exiting as to why they might be leaving. Were there any reasons in particular that they did leave? The stay interview is more about you know, supporting and encouraging. It's showing an aspect of caring and loyalty to the employee. Any candidate can now access information on what it's like to work in a company. They can access that in a split second. There's so many different ways, let alone word of mouth, all these things carry. So this is another little smaller aspect, but certainly part of the bigger picture in terms of creating a stellar employer brand. So. That aspect of the stay interviews, what that really is saying to the, you know, to the employee and to the greater community is that this company cares. The stay interview will, without a shadow of a doubt, help boost attraction rates and help boost retention rates. And the reason I say that is that this is good news. This is something employees will talk about. So potential candidates out there, when they're trying to really find out and get to grips with the employee experience, potential employee experience, they will hear things like this. They will hear that, you know, these managers, these leaders, they care enough to check in regularly to specifically focus on how the employee is getting on in their role. So not only does it help to attract people, but also the people within the organization. If any issues outside of performance issues, but if anything crops up that doesn't match with their expectations, that stay interview is the opportunity to discuss that and see where can we do, you know, where can we do something different in order to retain our talent. Brilliant. Well, hopefully now everyone watching this video will, will consider utilising uh, stay interviews now for attraction and retention purposes. So thank you so much again. As always, I, I really hope you enjoyed watching today and that you'll join us next time for our, our next video in our talent management series to help you hire smarter. Thank you so much.